to my channel. Today I have a very quick and simple video for you guys all about how to cover up discoloration and pimples. This is a really, really easy hack that I use that doesn't involve any extra products. You don't need color correcting kits or anything like that. It uses three simple things that are already part of your everyday foundation routine. So without making this intro too long, let's just get on to the video. This is gonna be a really simple process. You're only gonna need three products which you would already be using in your everyday routine. The first product is completely optional. If you don't normally use this in your everyday routine, you definitely don't need to use it now. I personally like to use it, so I'm gonna go in with some primer. This is the Porefessional Primer from Benefit. Next, you're obviously gonna need some foundation. I like to use something that's more full coverage for this because it's really going to blur out all of those imperfections and you're not going to see anything. Today I'm going to mix together my two Tarte Shape Tape foundations. The matte is just a little bit too drying for me and the hydrating is just a little bit too hydrating. So I'm going to mix them together to get my perfect formula. And the last thing you're going to need is some setting powder. Any translucent powder will do. I have the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I also find that using a beauty blender comes in handy when you're doing this because it helps to really pack on the product as opposed to a brush which would just spread it around. So as you guys can see, I have some pretty obvious red spots and discoloration on my face. The most obvious being over here on the side of my nose. This is a little scabbed, so it's going to be a little bit harder to cover up but this is still gonna do a pretty good job. The things that this is really gonna work great for are the spots on my cheeks over here which have just some discoloration and some active pimples as well as up here on my forehead. I don't know if the camera will really pick this up but I do have a little bit of a bruise accompanied by a little pimple. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do obviously is your priming if you do decide to use a primer. I'm just gonna take a pea sized amount and spread this all over my face. Especially on this area over here, I'm going to really massage that in to soften up that area and make sure that there's no dry spots. Moving on to foundation already, I'm going to mix together these two foundations on the back of my hand. Using my finger, I'm just going to mix them together and then I'm going to go directly on top of these spots and just dab a slight amount of product on them to the point where they are covered. I'm also going to do these spots over here. And moving on to this guy over here, this is going to be the problem area. I'm going to move on to translucent powder now. I'm going to take a little fluffy brush and just lightly dip into that powder and go over each of these spots. You want to make sure that you put enough powder on that the spot is dry but not too much that no product is gonna wanna attach on top of it. So just lightly dust over that so that that product stays in place and keeps those pimples covered. And then you can lightly dust any excess product away. When you're going over a scabbed area like this, you really wanna be light on the powder because it's already a pretty dry cracked area. You don't wanna give it more of a reason to crack. So you can already see those spots are decently covered. The pigmentation, while my foundation does not match, it's covering the red. So now I'm just gonna move on to covering my entire face and foundation as I normally would. Again, I'm using a mix of products here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a decent amount of product on the back of my hand and mix it together before applying it to my face. all blended out you can see those spots are virtually gone obviously the side of my nose is still pretty obvious because it is a raised scab but the redness for the most part is gone the same over here you still see my beauty mark a little bit but that pimple that was here is gone as well as on my forehead that bruise covered up pretty nicely and that red spot covered up as well I'm gonna finish doing the rest of my makeup like I normally would and I will be back to close this all up all right guys so this is the final look. As you can see, those spots covered up very nicely. They are barely noticeable aside from this guy in here, which 
Like I said, not much you can do for a scab besides let it heal. But even then, that redness is gone, completely sucked out of it, which makes it way less noticeable than it would have been without this. It's really quick, really easy. You don't need to go out and get a bunch of color correctors and extra products. You can use what you were already going to be using anyway, which I think is great. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little hack and that it works out for you guys at home. Don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button right down below before you guys leave and give this video a big thumbs up if you like content and little hacks like this. Again, thank you guys very, very much for sticking around and watching my videos. I really appreciate it and I really have fun doing this for you guys. So yeah, but until next time, bye guys.